Hey everybody, welcome to our live feed today. It is lunchtime here at uh, LSO Studios. And it seems like, you know what, like at home, I never cook fish, you know? Mainly because nobody at home wants to eat fish. I could eat fish twice a week, Every three day, times I a could, week. Every, every day, day, you're saying? That might be a little extreme, but yeah. Well, there's so many different ways you can make there it. There is, every, and, it's, and it's healthy. Like, I hardly even ever keep any fish, except for if I know I'm coming into the office here and yeah. cooking for you guys, you know? got the. In a, I'm, hey, this is the thing. Commercial French fries or homemade French fries? I like to cut up the potatoes myself. Put the seasoning in the bag, let them sit in there for, you know, six, eight hours, mm -hmm. softens them up a little bit. Got a little walleye here. And new grease. And new grease. That's huge. I did not realize that the grease that we had was over a year old. That's crazy because when we dumped it out, mm -hmm. it was like there was so much breading underneath <laughs> there. And that's another big thing is like we don't do the egg and milk wash and then the breading. We just go strictly to breading. And some breadings, we've been using a lot of different breadings. Some breadings really leave a lot of breading inside of the deep fryer. It comes off as soon as you throw them in there. Right. Other breadings really stick good, and you don't have that. You know, something that we should you, we should be doing here that we learned from our good friend Brian Claremont is that he dumps the grease back into the container, but he uses cheesecloth. And then Coffee it, filters. Yep, yeah. and filters that yeah. bad stuff. We, you know, but you got to think about that. That grease has been in there for a year. How many times have we used that deep fryer? A lot. A lot. Right. Yeah. So and I'll make really everything different. I'm starving, man. Walleye. Is that pike or the walleye, walleye and so any perch, perch in there? Here too, but okay. This is all walleye. We'll start with this. Hey, hope everybody had a great weekend. We certainly did. You certainly did. Yeah, I had a great weekend. We actually uh, took the airboat and went back up on Green Bay yesterday, Lance and I. Just couldn't, like, I had all my ice fish and stuff put away. I told Lance, I said, this morning, I'm finally putting them damn bite me box tip-ups away. I've had them up above the attic three different times now, and I pulled them down. I had them all stacked up, nice, perfect, you know, waiting for next year. And I said, let's go back up there, and I want a shot at a giant perch again. You know, after seeing a few pictures of these monster perch the last couple years, guys have been catching up there, especially like after the season's closed when they're up there walleye fishing. I mean, unbelievable. You know, some of these perch, I would say, are probably pushing close to three pounds. So we did not get a three-pounder, but we each got, we got three perch over 15 inches. That's pretty impressive. Well. And a bunch of walleyes. Yeah. And I'll tell you what, uh, that ice up there has been shifting back and forth. We ran um, all the way from park number two, all the way up into the Peshtigo River. And when you, if the, everybody that fishes up there, wait till you see what happened. Last week when we in that, that heavy wind, what it did is it pushed like mountains of ice in front of the Peshtigo River. It's amazing. Like just when you come out of the river, you have that first drop right there and then comes up on the break. That's just a wall 60 to 100 feet high of solid ice that got pushed up Dang. there. So it's probably going to it's probably going to keep some of them fish right away from coming into the river. Right. Mm. Mm. Looks good. Looks good. It's amazing new grease how fast the fish are in the food yes. cooks. It's all about that new grease. Oh. Speaking of new grease, new things. Last week you, you put you put me on a, a little uh, mission. You came in. I think you texted me and you said, "Hey, there's something something you, you got to do for me." Right. You know we're all about you know you know we're all about like when people there's like you know. I'll tell you something in life. Let's just go this route. Not everybody is the same. I don't care what anybody says. Not everybody. There's some people that are extremely intelligent. And they're in some people's intelligence levels are like off the charts. So when I like listen to somebody or somebody sends me like a really good quote, like somebody comes up with something that makes like a lot of sense to me. And I'm going to read this one to you right here. So... This is what it says. Okay, listen to this. Hope you can hear. Some people 
live an entire lifetime and wonder if they ever have made a difference in the world. That's a big thing. You know, like, that's really... You're here on this planet to make a difference. It's like raising good kids, um, just a difference in coming up with something, a cure for something. Just like, again, you're here to make a difference in this world. Okay, here's the, the rest of the quote. A veteran doesn't have that problem. Think about that. If you're a veteran, you served this country and... Really, to me, you know, you guys, we talk all the time about our military mm -hmm. men and women, people that have served in the past and in the present, and we talk about all of our law enforcement agents. These people put their lives on the line for this country. So I don't care. Read the whole thing again. All at once. Let me unlock it for you. Okay. I'm gonna, okay, yeah. the whole thing all at once. This is like when, when this was brought to my attention a week ago, I read this and it brought tears and it really I've really been thinking about this a lot. Okay. Some people live an entire lifetime and wonder if they have ever made a difference in the world. A veteran does not have that problem. So I'm like, you know what? That is an incredible, incredible quote. So I told these guys I want that on the back of our show because really we would not have the things we have if it wasn't for the people that have served in this country, you know? So I get a phone call yesterday. It was on last week's show. It was on last week's show. So I get a phone call. Somebody, I was, of course, out, gone. Somebody had called my home number and absolutely had a fit about it. This is why they had a fit about it. That quote, and I, I didn't know it right away when somebody had sent me that and, and told me that, but it was by Ronald Reagan, an absolutely incredible human being. Obviously, he's gone, but an incredible human being. And it doesn't matter if the guy is a Democrat or Republican to me. I don't really give a flying shit, you guys. You know what? Politics, I don't care. I'll be friends with you if you're a Democrat or a Republican or independent. It doesn't matter to me. So, what I want to know, should I let up on this stuff and not talk about it because it, it was somebody that was a politician that came up with that quote, or a president, I should say? You know what? It's kind of like this. You know what? How can you come down on somebody for saying, make America great? I, that's a great quote, make America great. So, I want to know what everybody thinks about all this. Right, so he but, wasn't. So basically, he was not happy because that quote was by Ronald Reagan. Yes, right. And you know, and if it, it was by if that quote was by Obama, you know, Barack Obama, or by Bill Clinton, I would have ran the same damn quote because it's an awesome quote. So just because it guy was, you know, a Republican, you're gonna have a fit about it. Doesn't make any sense. It's not about being a Republican, a Democrat, or independent. It's about greatness. You know what? And that's what the whole what life is about. It's about doing the right things, raising a great family, being great to your neighbors, great to your friends. You know, that's what it's about. So I want to hear everybody's opinion on that. I'm a little worked up today because if I would have been home and answered that phone call, mm -hmm. I probably would have said a few things that I probably would have regretted for sure. Because, you know, there's an old saying in life. You gotta stand for something or you'll fall for anything. And that is so true. So Ed says, God bless them all. Oscar, some don't care for people who serve. Extremely sad to know this. I'm proud of our veterans. Love America they and the love for America they fought for. I can tell you this. Anybody that doesn't care for people that have served in our military, I really don't want to spend any time with. I can tell you that, right? Unless you have one hell of a reason that you can explain to me, and, I, and I'll listen, listen to it, you know? But when you think about, when I walk outside of my door, can shoot my guns wherever I want, can go fishing pretty much wherever I want, you know, live in a free, as far as free is concerned, things have changed. But for the most part, we're still living in a free society. You know, you can drive your car wherever you want to go for the most part. So when you look at all these things, you know, 
Here you're looking at a guy right here that never made it through high school, got kicked out, you know. So when you look at the opportunities of, of a person that is able to work hard and still be able to do good things, that, that dude, that you guys, that is so important to me. And, and the love of this country that I have for this country is like no tomorrow. Looking good. Looking really good. And I'm not saying you guys got to agree with everything. Hey, I respect, you know, people that don't agree. But when you call me and give me a hard time because of something that a great quote like that, that makes all the sense in the world, yeah, it gets you a little fired up. Oh, speaking of fired up. So, off of that, on to the next thing. That's how we go. You know, that is a big thing in life. You know, sometimes you got to let things go. You know what? You can't, like, you know, hold things inside all the time and, and ponder on, you know, your neighbor's dog came over and pooped in your yard, you know, and I'm pissed off at the guy. That's, like, so, like, ridiculous. You know what? Go clean the shit up and really, you know what, get back to your life. You know, it's just, it's that simple. On to something different. On to something different. You know what? You, spring uh, is here. Spring Buckaroni. is here. We were fishing all weekend. You, yep. Uh, I was on the wolf yeah. on Saturday. Did so so. A lot of people were the fish were. You were in Oshkosh. And, and did, up here. You did, and up here. In Oshkosh, you did very well. Mm -hmm. Big females, you know, as yes. far as big as concerned. Uh, Lake Winnebago, Winnebago big, big, yeah. Right. Which is uh, 18 six, to 22 yeah. inches, right? So um, that was good. But, uh, you know, we're looking for somebody to be a guest in our podcast this week. Yeah. You know, so who do you guys want to hear in our podcast? Because Larry and I really enjoy doing the podcast. We love the podcast. Larry yep. was kind of anti-podcast. At first, yeah. yeah. I like the podcast because, you know, you can kind of open up on it. We're, like, on the show, um, you know, we try to stay stay pretty neutral and conservative, you know. On the podcast, we, we open up a little bit, and uh, obviously you have more time, and uh, you're not censored. Yeah, right? so if you guys like what Larry just said about two or three minutes ago, you definitely got to head over and listen to our podcast. If yeah, you haven't listened sure. to it. Because I mean, we talk we, a little bit more about that kind of stuff we on the do, podcast. Because it's really important to me is, again, when you look at the love that I have for this country and, and for the people of this country, you know, you're looking at, you know, this is, I don't want to make it sound like a broken record, but you guys, you got to really like deeply think about this. We're living, how fortunate we are. We're living in the greatest country in the world. There is no other country that has the amount of resources that this country has. The most important things to survive are water. There's no other country that has the amount of fresh water that we do anywhere. And when you look at the amount of land, I'm talking about dirt to grow crops, food, there is no other place. I mean, it's incredible when you look at that. So, you know, you don't think that like other nations want this other countries want this this land, you're crazy. If I was another country, I would do anything I could to get this land, right? For my people. Right. So if you could fish anywhere right now, where would you go? Me? Yeah. I was there yesterday. I was up uh, up on at O'Connell. You go back up there right now. All I'll these people back, wondering, hey, where's the bite? Boat. Everyone's yeah. asking, where's the bite? Hey, where, where, yeah. where should we, we go to catch fish? We were on the ice. We had to go across a lot of open water with the airboat to get to the ice. We caught some giant, giant perch, which is going to be this week's show. I uh, caught a bunch of walleyes. Um, so, you know, I you know, I just being able to to get on them fish when, when not a lot of other people are out there, it's a pretty cool thing. Right. right. Look at that. That looks so good. Whoa. Shut her down. Shut her down. Well. Hey, I'll tell you what, everybody. We always appreciate everything that people do for us. We appreciate you guys tuning in, watching the show, listening to the podcast. Mm -hmm. It's so important that we connect with everybody. And that's really what it's all about. You know, we love your comments. Even if you don't agree with what I have to say, we still will, will love your com your comments, and we want to hear from you. You know, that's just the way it is. Um, 
All I got to say is there's no doubt that it is a great day to be alive and be proud to be an American. Talk to you later.